Hi everyone, myself Santosh. In the last video, we have seen the basics of computer. Okay, today we are going to learn something called problem solving using computer. Means how to solve a problem by computer. Okay, let us see. What is problem solving? Problem solving is very exciting, challenging and satisfying experience. When you go through the problems, you can guess what is the problem and what are the requirements to solve that problem. Okay, that's why this is the very exciting experience. Let us move. Okay, as a programmer, a programmer must first understand how a woman solves a problem and then understand how to translate this problem to a computer understandable form that is called a instruction and we should know how to solve it by computer because computer has its own things it cannot understand how a human talks it can only understand some instructions that's why we need to learn how to solve it by computer so that's why we are taking one of the problem solving technique that is called as algorithm algorithm basically it is a one step to solve a problem means it is the technique which is used to solve a particular problem and let us see algorithm is one of the problem solving technique and it is a step by step procedure to solve a problem means when we solve a problem step by step it can be easily solved that is the simple theory behind algorithm and why the name is algorithm it is named after the famous mathematician Abu Zafar Muhammad Ibn Musa Al Khwarizmi. That's why the name is algorithm. Okay, now I want to explain one of the algorithm, very very basic algorithm, that is addition of two numbers. And every algorithm starts with the step start then to add two numbers what we need just think of it to add two numbers we need two numbers but in general I am taking or I am entering two numbers as A and B so that I can put any value in A and I can put any value in B so now we have two values a and b just think why i'm not taking 10 and 5 15 and 20 because based on the user's interest he will add his own numbers that's why i don't want to consider the constants i want to consider the variables so that a user can put his own number in a is required number in B now we have two numbers means we have inputted the two numbers finally the process will happen what is the process of adding that is simply addition process that is that can be done with the help of plus operator that's why I have written it as a plus B and after every process I want to store it in some place and that place I have taken here as C C now the process has taken place that is A plus B and I have stored the result in C simple and the result is in C that's why we need to display the result or show the result and the output will be C so we have got the output finish the algorithm is over okay let us visualize this and note down that 
every algorithm starts with a start step and the every algorithm ends with a stop step simple now we will visualize this see i have told you a is the name of the place where i want to store a number and here i have stored the number 10 and even i have taken a b and b is the place where i want to store another number here i have taken 20 this is called inputting process we have inputted two values a and b and the process will begin and computer does the processing it should show the result in c I got it very simple we have got the result like this computer examines every instructions and it will show you the result algorithm is basically a simple problem solving technique it is not a coding technique okay before coding we need to learn how to code how to analyze that's why we are learning algorithm okay we'll see the second example that is calculation of simple interest see to calculate simple interest what we need we need principal amount and a time duration and rate of interest we need to provide the inputs like p d r okay let us see step by step step one is start as usual step two is we need to input the values p d r and the process is very simple that is p t r divided by 100 is the formula for simple interest and in computer while using the multiplication symbol we are using star operator star means multiplication i have done the same thing p into t into r divided by 100 and as i told you earlier after processing i want to store the result in si si is the place where we are storing the result and the processing as over we need to show the result that is output means machine shows the result which is stored in si and the last step is as usual stop see let us analyze this or visualize this input uh, a p value as thousand means thousand is the principal amount t is the time duration i am giving it in years and rate is the rate of interest and machine does the calculation that and it will show you the output that is stored in si that is 1100 simple you got how to learn algorithms how to write the algorithms very simple uh, if you have not got we will move to the next problem that is third example see i want to find the square of a given number just check it i want to find a square of a given number means i need only single number okay and how can i find the square of that number just multiplying that number by itself okay let us start the algorithm start with start step 2 is enter the number and i am giving a name for the number as n n is the place where we want to store the number and how we can do the square of this number just by multiplying that number by itself that is n into n will be the answer that is process will be n into n and i want to store the result in s cube s cube is the name i have given to store the result s cube is a place 
where the result is stored and the machine displays the result that is stored in SQ that is called output and finally we have the stop step simple and now again we will visualize this that is I want to store a number in N the number I have given is 5 and process begins process will complete n into n will happen and that will be stored in sq means n into n is 5 into 5 sq holds the value 25 got it very simple like this you can try some more examples so that you can learn how to write the algorithms thanks for watching